Hello everyone, it's Andrea. I have decided to put you in a different spot in the Babe Cave today. My name is Andrea again, this is AKB Bags, and I wanted to do this tag video. I wasn't tagged, but I think anyone can do it, and it's your five least used bags so far this year. And as you can see, this gorgeous, gorgeous number one bag here is the Dooney and Burke Satchel, Florentine Satchel, and it's um, formerly known as the Small, but it's just so heavy. It is very heavy. <laughs> um, I just have not been reaching for it. It's a beautiful bag with, you know, awesome brass hardware and has these, you know, handles, whip stitch, tassels, and I am not ready to get rid of it. There's feet on the bottom. Yeah, I just, I have not been reaching for it. Um, and that goes with a lot of my satchels, but um, they're just kind of too big for me right now. <laughs> I've been gravitating for smaller bags, so this would definitely be uh, my first least used bag. Number two is the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. And again, it's a bigger bag. It's just top handle, which we've all seen a thousand times before. But I have not been reaching for, yes, you guessed it, a bigger bag. <laughs> but yeah, it's one that I got in J from the DCT Vintage Japan website. You know, it has some wear... The back part, I just could not get smoothed out, which kind of drives me crazy. But I, I got this for under $300. So really, I mean, I cannot complain that much about a $300 Louis Vuitton. <laughs> I just have not been reaching for it. Sometimes these are missing because they're so beat up, um, these Speedy 30s. But yeah, as you can see a theme here, uh, I'm just not reaching for this bag. I haven't reached for it at all for 2023. Number three would be this big, giant, poofy Steve Madden bag that looks very similar to the YSL bag. Uh, puffer bag, I believe what it's called. I'll, I'm not really sure on that, but it has the, the dark hardware on here. And it's, you know, I've been gravitating less towards big bags and black bags. I've just been wanting color or, you know, neutrals. Although this is neutral, I just have not been picking this one up either this year. Here's the back side. It's gorgeous, and I got a really good price on this bag. Oh, need to clean the bottom. <laughs> But yeah, there's the Steve Madden logo. Um, yeah, it's a magnetic closure. It's just, and it's really nice, you know, that PU, you know, vegan, vegan leather. It's just one that, it's really big, <laughs> and it's black, and I have not reached for it. So that's number three. Number four is the Laurel Hobo. And it's of Dooney and Burke in the color natural. And I got a really good deal on this bag. I think it was on Mercari. And it's really pretty. And I love the look with the, the natural Florentine leather, you know, variations in the leather. It's pretty. I just don't know about this shape. And it, it's a shoulder bag that it's just, it doesn't fit on my body like I would like it to. It does have feet on the bottom and a nice braid, you know, the nice zipper pull and everything about it is beautiful, but I have not reached for it. So this one actually is on my Poshmark in Mercari. So if you're interested, it is listed it's beautiful. <laughs> I just think the shape for a shoulder bag for me, anyway, is just not 
I'm just not reaching for it. So that's uh, one that's listed for sale currently. And that is number four. Number five is the Dooney and Burke Small Logan Drawstring in the color Brown Tomorrow, which it looks darker than that, but it's a very dark chocolate brown color. And I love this bag and I got a great deal. And I think a bunch of us uh, content creator YouTubers bought this bag and it's Florentine leather. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful bag. It, again, it's a big bag, <laughs> and I'm just not reaching for the big bags anymore. I mean, I probably will again, and I still love every detail of this bag. I mean, look at this zipper pull. I mean, nice tassels. Um, I don't know, you know, the shoulder drop is nice. I'm not ready to give this one up yet, because <laughs> I don't have any brown tomorrow uh bags besides this one has a big old bottom i mean you could just fill this thing to the brim and it would be so heavy <laughs> but you know it has a front pocket for your phone you know it's it's beautifully made again it's that you know real dark chocolate brown and it has the the duck right there but again i'm not gravitating towards bigger bags so that's my problem i don't know if anyone else has that problem and you know just like trends come and go many bags will come and go and then i'll probably reach for bigger bags again but for now i'm not really grabbing the big bags i have an honorable mention bag because well i can do that i'll break the rules <laughs> and this is my coach field tote 22 and it's in the color truffle papaya this color right here is papaya which is kind of like a mustardy orangey yellow um, if i were to describe it but i bought it and i used it for a minute and then i never touched it again <laughs> and it has all this pretty detail of the horse and carriage it has the feet on the bottom with the black leather here um, I think I'm, I don't know, I mean, there's the strap that comes with it. This one may end up in, in the chopping block as well. I'm not sure. <laughs> I still like it. I just haven't been reaching for it. And it's, it's not a big bag, as you can tell. Uh, I just have not been reaching towards it. But yeah, so if you want to do this tag of your least used bags of 2023, feel free. Um, because it was, you know, I did the five most used bags and I'll link that video down below. But now I wanted to do the five least used bags, which kind of makes me sad. Um, because I like to use all my bags like everyone. But again, when you have a channel and you're a handbag channel, you collect quite a few. And so you get a little overwhelmed with how many you have. And then, well, you end up, if you're like me and not a complete collector, like I, I still collect them. I have a lot, but I still want to keep a balance of buying and selling. So if that makes sense. But thank you all for watching. I hope you like this new view here. I just uh, thought of it and then um, I decided to film it. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this tag video and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.